Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm actually very excited to show you an opportunity that I think will be very, very fruitful within the next few days here and what I want to talk about is a few electric vehicle stocks and I want to explain why I think that they're actually going to run like crazy here within the next few days and what I'm seeing as far as technical analysis that kind of indicates that they have a big, big move coming. Now, the companies that I'm talking about specifically are NIO, I'm talking about Workhorse, and I'm talking about Tesla. And these are three companies that have ran up a lot over the last few months and are kind of seeing a pause in their price at the moment. And I'm going to talk specifically about each stock, what levels I'm watching, and why I think that they're going to make a big, big move to the upside within the next few days. Now, NIO is a company that I talked about recently. You can see that they have a lot of levels of support and they're a company that really, really likes to test these levels and kind of confirm that your technical analysis is correct. And that's exactly what happened very recently here. You can see that we had highs around 2085. The last time this company ran up around a few months ago and since then we were trading a little sideways and we saw another breakout around the 1st of October here. So around one week ago and since then the stock has been consolidating within this little bullish uh, bullish pattern here. And you can see that they are right about to break out of this wedge that I've actually identified. Now, yesterday we saw a huge, huge market sell off and a lot of people were wondering whether or not this market was going to turn to the downside. And to those people, I always say, even if the market does turn to the downside, what this is, is just a great opportunity to buy. And that's exactly what happened here with NIO stock. And you can see they tested this level 2085 very, very strongly. And they have in the past before tested this level and broken right back into this triangle, back into the wedge. And that was what was key for me before I kind of recommended a trade either to the upside or the downside on this company. And you can see that's exactly what happened yesterday. They tested the 2085 before market closed. And by the time market opened, they broke up to the bottom of the triangle, came back all the way down to 2085, then broke back into the triangle. And now they're really trading above the triangle, testing these key levels. And in after hours, they are up around 20 to 30 cents. And what's going to be very key for me here is to see how these stocks trade in the after hours period, right around 1 a.m. Pacific time, which is where I do my trading. And we're going to see whether or not they have enough momentum to break to the upside. Now, like I explained in my Discord, link in the description to my Discord and Patreon, which you can join to get daily plays and daily notifications on what's happening with a lot of your favorite stocks, what price I'm buying them at, selling them at, etc. And I really recommend you guys to get in there. It's a great value at the price it's at. And I'm really just thinking to see how many we can get to join because I think it's going to be a great opportunity to continue creating a community over there. So like I said, guys, I called this play out today. I bought them at around 2120 a few days ago. And once I saw them catching a support here around the 2120 again, I recommended it as an absolute buy. And I actually got in on 100 extra shares. My total position now is 300 shares. And I'm looking to hold them all the way till they hit these highs again at around 2258 with a possibility of testing the top of this channel around 23 to 24 dollars so i'm really really excited about nio as a company i think they have tons of upside left as we do see electric vehicles continue to become more and more important in our planet and in these talks about climate change which are a very important issue today for a lot of people now another stock that i said i was watching here over the past few days is workhorse now I'm not as bullish on Workhorse in the short term, but I do think that they have a great, great opportunity coming up as a result of some news we got about California. Now, California became one of the first states in the US to actually require that people make all electric vehicles here, non-polluting vehicles by 2035. And what that is going to mean is that these EV stocks are going to have an extremely bright future in the US. And the US is one of the biggest consumer markets on planet Earth. And as a result, I think we have a lot more upside left on these EV stocks, especially Workhorse Group, which focuses on last mile delivery. And if you just consider how many of these vehicles are actually in circulation with the US Post Office, how many gas powered vehicles are, that they're going to have to switch over to electric vehicles just in California, that's going to provide a significant, significant boost to Workhorse Group stock and to their company in the next few weeks to years time. And that's why I feel really bullish about their stock. 
in the short term, you can see that they've actually tested a lot of key levels. They were having a resistance before they broke out a few weeks ago at around 2050, and then another resistance at their all time highs around 2270, which they broke out above from. And you can see that these have both been tested over the last few days. And even though we actually had a market sell off around two or three days ago, this company hasn't been affected. And I feel like that's because they're really, really respecting this wedge breakout, which is extremely similar to the one we're seeing on NIO. The company traded way up high, came to the bottom of the wedge, and now they're doing like when a ball bounces on a table where it su successively bounces on a shorter and shorter, shorter amount until it absolutely breaks out as a company and as a stock. And the levels I'm watching for this workhorse stock are going to be around $28 after they break out or around the $31 range after they break out. Now, the reason why I don't think these companies will break to the downside is because with these presidential debates, we've heard a lot of talk about climate change, a lot of talk about moving to electric vehicles and a more sustainable source of movement for the United States and transportation. And as a result, I think a lot of people are pouring into these stocks. You can see the crazy spikes of volume that are happening on this stock, as well as NIO and as well as Tesla, which I'm about to talk to next here. And that's why I think that they are going to break to the upside rather than seeing some resistance and breaking to the downside in the near future here, especially after this consolidation and especially with so much room up to their all time highs, which are levels that we've clearly already tested. So like I said, the next stock I'm going to be talking about is Tesla and Tesla is seeing the exact same thing as Workhorse and NIO. But there's one main reason why I like Tesla more. And that's going to be that they're actually testing the top of their channel already. And one of the main reasons why I want to make this video today and not tomorrow is because I think that these breakouts are going to happen extremely, extremely soon. I'm looking to buy call options on all of these companies, especially NIO. That one is my favorite, but also Workhorse. And the reason why I'm not really focusing on Tesla is because of its higher price here. However, I do own a couple shares of Tesla and I'm looking to expand my position in the future if they do have a bullish breakout here from this wedge, as there will be a lot, lot of upside here towards their 530 all time highs and towards their 480, which is the first resistance level that I can see here on their chart. So whether or not they break out to the upside a lot or a little, we're looking at at least 20% or sorry, 12% and all the way to the highs, we're looking at around 25 to 30%. So this is going to represent a great opportunity on all of these companies, but specifically with Tesla, the prices that I'm looking at them for testing is going to be where we had this double bottom very recently here. And you can see that they tested this double bottom very strongly. And that's one of the main things that is giving me confidence that these stocks will break to the upside. Most of them like to follow what Tesla is doing as Tesla is the market leader and especially the leader on the stock market for these EV companies and what their future holds. And as a result, I feel like a lot of people look at Tesla to decide whether or not these companies will be heading to the upside or the downside in the near future. And Tesla has consistently held up its price levels. You can see that every time Tesla has tested the bottom side of this channel, they've immediately had some large, large bull action where the stock gets bought up in less than an hour. In less than an hour, they're already back in the triangle in this bullish pattern, in this wedge. And that's going to be absolutely critical in knowing that this stock has a lot more room to the upside than the downside, especially because so many people bought in when they were at these lower levels that I don't think it's possible to see a sell off with enough momentum to potentially break to the downside of the wedge. Now, similarly as MIO, today they actually broke out of the wedge and are testing the top. And that's a really, really good sign that this stock could potentially break up within the next few days. And that's what I'm going to be really, really watching to see whether or not these stocks are going to have momentum to the upside. Like I said, I'm extremely bullish on all these positions. I think that the EV sector has a lot of room to run still. And even though these companies, some of them are up 50 to 100%, especially Tesla, which is up hundreds of percents over the last few years, I think that it still has a lot of room to the upside as there are tons of traders who have really felt bad that they missed out on this great opportunity of a company 
during the stock split, during the run up to the stock split, and during all this movement that we've actually seen with Tesla, the movement that we've seen with NIO, and the movement that we've seen with Workhorse. A lot of people are sad that they missed out on these opportunities. And as a result, they buy every single dip that we've had, including the one that we had two or three days ago. And that's what's really showing me a lot of confidence, giving me a lot of confidence in my 300 share position, especially on NIO and the calls that I hope to buy within the next week with around a month of time in order to catch the full movement of these stocks. Now, one thing that I really recommend with options, if you're buying multiple options and they run up 20, 30, 40%, you're going to be better off selling all the options that are in profit and potentially leaving one or two options for free using your profits that you already made from the other ones and let them run to infinity. And this way, your position is 100% protected from any losses. If you make sure that you secure an amount, you take it out and then you put it back into the ones or you keep the ones that are 100% going to be running to profit, then that's going to guarantee that you don't lose any money with options. And that's what I'm really looking to do here over the next few days, as a lot of people are noticing this wedge pattern and are getting ready to a breakout for the upside. And this is going to be extremely, extremely fun to trade this breakout as I love technical analysis. And especially when something I say does what I think it's going to do, this makes me really excited for trading the stock market. And I think this is going to be one of the best opportunities to buy into EVs for the long term. And especially if you've been bullish on these companies, but are looking for a great time to buy where your position is going to have a large uptrend in the short term period. So that's why I really recommend all three of these companies right now. Again, I'm talking about NIO, which is a Chinese car manufacturer. They have multiple models of cars out. And that's one of the main reasons why I really like this company, because they actually have a tangible product that they're already selling consistently and they already have a brand being created. Workhorse, they focus on last mile delivery, and that's going to be pretty key in kind of cornering this market with what we've seen in California and what we've seen with a lot of countries and a lot of states starting to switch over to this EV method of delivery and are starting to switch to being very EV heavy and very EV focused for the next few years. And I think Workhorse is going to be able to profit greatly from this move. And Tesla is just the market leader. As always, they are going to benefit from any runs or declines in the stock market or as far as EV stocks are concerned and the EV sector. So that's why I really like to look at Tesla to give me an indication on what's happening with these other companies. However, they're all their own individual stocks and anything can happen on a daily basis with the stocks. So just keep a close eye out on these positions, guys. I think it's going to be an amazing opportunity. Like I said, I mentioned these three opportunities in the Discord today. And that's going to be linked down in the description below if you want to join our community and if you want to get educated on a daily basis on what stocks are going to move, what's going to be happening in the market, and how you can potentially make a lot of profit in a short amount of time trading with other people who just like the same things as you, understand you as a person, as a community, and just want to help you get better as a trader. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video, and we'll see you tomorrow.